Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Sunday. I'm meteorologist Lynn Kenny, and I'm gonna go ahead and say this straight up right now. If everybody that, if any of you that are watching likes weeks that we don't have any rain and the humidity is low, this week, this uh, this upcoming week is not gonna be your greatest week. We're gonna be watching a lot of rain this week because of one minor tropical system, and then three, and then two frontal boundaries that will be basically dominating the whole entire eastern region of the United States. So as far as our weather headlines go, our rain chances are definitely going to be on the rise because of the two frontal boundaries and also a very small tropical disturbance that is right near, about, right near the Bahamas and that will also increase our rain chances. But other than that, I can finally, you know, not talk about the tropics this much this video considering most of the action is starting to finally wind down. There's still uh, three tropical systems that we're keeping an eye on right now. But as far as the information that I have to provide for all of you, there's really not that much going on, so I don't have to spend too much time on it, all right? As far as the two systems that we're watching right now in the Atlantic goes, our first one, believe it or not, is still Hurricane Sam. It's now a Category 1 hurricane and will continue to race off to the Northeast and eventually, you know, just make it make itself die down and not impact anybody. We have a brand new, very small area of development. This, this is not even an invest yet considering the National Hurricane Center isn't worried about this at all and you should not be worried about it either. It only has a 20% chance of developing over the next five days. If it goes anywhere, it's going to be heading right off the coastline of Georgia and the Carolinas, but it's going to be battling a lot of wind shear that it's going to be, that's going to uh, be preventing it from further intensification. And we also have Victor now, which is a tropical depression. It has been dying down over, over the last several days and will continue to die down as it heads to the northwest. And long story short, will impact will be impacting absolutely nobody, all right? Here's a look at that minor tropical disturbance that's right near the Bahamas. As you can see, it's just a really big area of thunderstorms going from eastern Hispaniola up through maybe the Bahamas. The center of low pressure is somewhere right in here. It really isn't that organized at all. And the reason for that is because it's battling a lot of wind shear. And that will be the case over this upcoming week, all right? And you can see, as we head, in, as we head into tomorrow, there's going to be so much wind shear, especially where it is right now. You, I mean, we may be seeing a little bit of that die down as you head towards the coastlines of northern South Carolina and getting into North Carolina. But look at this. As we head into Wednesday, now we're seeing, now we're seeing even more of that wind shear, especially along the beaches of Georgia and the Carolinas. And then eventually, as you head into Friday, we're still dealing with quite a bit of wind shear, and as soon as this area of low pressure gets up into, you know, that area that has wind shear, it will not be allowed to strengthen at all. So if we do see anything within the system, it's, it's just going to be our normal scattered showers and thunderstorms that we would typically see on a northern day. Nothing out of ordinary, nothing as far as tropical impacts go, nothing to worry about at all, which is a very good thing, all right? Now, let me explain to you why this week is going to be so wet, all right? First off, our first front's going to be this one area of low pressure that's going to be sitting in southern Illinois with the cold front going through the Mississippi River Valley down into portions of Texas. And then as soon as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, that's really when everything starts to kick up. And the reason for that is because our main area of low pressure is now going to be up in, uh, up in really the area of New York City with that cold front going all the way throughout the mid-Atlantic back into our area. And then along with that, a new area of low pressure forms with the cold front going back down western Alabama. And as we head into Wednesday, our new... Low pressure system really takes dominance over the whole entire eastern United States. And this frontal boundary really becomes our main weather maker as we head into Wednesday. So really, throughout this whole entire area, Kentucky, Tennessee, the Carolinas, Virginia, back into Georgia, um, you know, Mississippi, Alabama, all those regions, it def it's definitely going to be probably a good rainy day, at least for the majority of the day. As you head into Thursday, the front shifts a little bit more towards the east, putting in that area of low pressure now in the Ohio River Valley. And you can see, it really doesn't move all that much. Here we go on a Friday, the end of the week, now pushes in a portion of Georgia and the Carolinas with a lot of rain, especially here on portions of the Eastern Carolinas. So once again, it's probably going to be a very rainy week. I think, I think our rain chances are going to be better as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We still have that rain chance as we head into Monday and Tuesday, but our best chance of rain is going to be Wednesday, through Friday, along with the moisture that's going to be pulled north from that tropical disturbance, all right? So here's a look at our 10-day outlook. As you can see, it'll be a nice start to the week tomorrow, but then as soon as we head into Tuesday through Friday, then we're, then we're going to be dealing with all those fronts along with that very small tropical disturbance. It probably will be rainy throughout, the mo uh, throughout most of the week and then eventually into the weekend. And then finally, 
as we start off our brand new week next week, that's when we might get a that's when we might get a, um might get, might get summer leave as far as rain goes.